Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about a brand new GPU card just revealed by Gigabyte and it's called Radeon AI Pro R9700 AI Pro 32G. Yes, it has two AI in, in the name. So let's get into it. We already covered that R9700 is only professional GPU card in the entire Radeon 9000 series. It was expected to launch in this month and guess what? It's finally here with Gigabyte bringing the first company to release it. It's a professional GPU design for serious workload like AI, machine learning and content creation. It's based on upcoming Navi 48 GPU and comes with massive 32 GB of GDDR6 memory. That's a lot perfect for heavy tasks while normal gaming GPU might struggle. Card is built using all metal frame which means it's stronger and durable metal frame also help with heat dissipation making the card more efficient doing heavy workload inside the card it uses copper heatsink copper is very good metal for conducting heat so it helps to move heat away from the gpu quickly however there is no vapor chamber in this card vapor chamber are advanced cooling compounds found in some high-end gpu they spread heat more evenly across the heatsink so their absence suggests this card might run slightly warmer or designed for tasks where extremely cooling is needed gigabyte has include a single cooling fan and, and they named it the turbo fan this is likely a marketing name to make it sounds more powerful. This kind of fan usually a blower style fan which push hot air directly out of the case keeping the rest of the system cooler. Because it has just one fan and compound design this graphics card is ideal for multi GPU setup. In multi GPU system like rendering AI training simulation space is limited. A single fan blower style design is perfect because it prevent one card from overheating the other. The card used the standard RX 9070 XT display connector layout 3 display port 2.1 and 1 HDMI 2.1 port. In terms of power this card used 16 pin connector which is aimed its official specs for this SKU. In summary if we talk about the features. It's integrated 32 GB of GDDR6 memory, compressed metal grease for GPU, server grade thermal conducting gel, turbo fan cooling system with optimized airflow, all copper cooling and metal frame, double ball bearing fan. It is. I'm gonna give the full link. You can go just read it. Now, the card is not directly successor of Pro W7900 model as it is less powerful, has less memory and fewer cores. Instead, 9700 might be considered a successor of Pro W7800, which is also came with 32 GB of memory. The model launched at $2,499, which was quite a lot for Navi 32 base at that time. Now, if we compare those two cards, we can see Radeon Pro 9700 comes with 4096 core while W7800 has 4480 cores that's about 8.56% fewer cores on the R9700 but here's what things get interesting by having fewer cores R9700 actually outperforms the W7800 in several key areas if we 32 compute power it is up to 6.67% boost clocks jumps from around 2.5 gigahertz to 2.9 gigahertz which is 16% increase memory speed is also 11.11% faster both GPU share the same 32 GB of GDDR6 memory and a 26 bit bus so no difference in there as for power R9700 has 300 watt TDP slightly higher than the W7800 but honestly with that extra performance it makes sense the card needs more power to push those higher speeds so while it may have fewer cores R9700 makes up for it with higher clock speed faster memory and overall better Compute performance. As for release date and price, according to the AMD, the Radeon Pro AI R9700 will be released on July 23, but only through pre-built system, and it's going to be around 1,260 to 1,200 dollars. That's like 50% lower than W7800. So. That's it for today. The Radeon AI Pro R9700 is shaping up to be a real game changer, offering next gen performance at nearly half of the price of older models like W7800. If you are building a powerful multi GPU setups or just want pro level specs without burning your wallet, this card might be one to watch. Let me know what you think about the card in the comment and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for GPU updates just like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.